Good morning. Today we are going to learn how to develop good communication. So uh, students here in this uh, college, you know, they are actually, after passing, they will be joining the service industry. Now, by this service industry, we mean like, you know, hospitality, uh, technical industries, uh, then medical industries, then you have a whole lot of other industries where communication is needed on a daily basis. Now, with this communication, you know, we need to know a very few crucial points that uh, how to develop this communication skills. It's a, it's a skill. Now, this skill, to enhance this skill, there are certain things we must follow and which most of the students, they think that uh, speaking a language is a birthright, but it is not. Nobody is born with a language. Language is developed or acquired over the years. So first of all, uh, the basic fundamental of uh, learning a language is uh, through listening. Now, uh, we all have learned a uh, language through listening. A small child at the age of three year old, he learns a language, it's only with the help of listening. He doesn't go through a uh, tutor, he, is not, uh, uh, he does not exist, a grammar book, neither a dictionary, but he learns the entire grammar of the language of, that is his mother tongue through listening. Now this is a policy or this is a practice if anybody follows, okay, can easily learn any language. There is not, there is nothing called, you know, is English is a hard language or Japanese is a difficult language. Every language becomes simple when we enhance this listening skills. <coughs> Coming back to this uh, uh, work of communication, you know, there are certain things that uh, most of the time students say that uh, uh, vocabulary is the most difficult part. If we enhance vocabulary, then probably I can speak better. But this is a misconception where we know that uh, verbal communication, we first of all, we must have uh, a domain knowledge. Okay, that domain knowledge or the, or the competency, subject competency is required. Now, once you have the subject competency, the next thing is that you need to have a language competency. Now, just having a knowledge is not enough. You need to be expressive where you need, need a language here. <coughs> then, uh, what to do? Now, you have a domain knowledge, you have a uh, language competency. Then, uh, again, people fail here. The reason is that, you know, we don't have this general awareness. Now, most of the students complain that the teachers gives example from the textbook. So why is this problem? The problem is because that uh, the general knowledge has to be incorporated in domain knowledge along with the language competency. And this vocabulary comes automatically. We don't have to spend a decade of our life you know, learning vocabulary. Now what is it that the industry calls for? The industry calls for is that uh, you need a confidence then you need the rate of speech, that means it is neither too fast nor too slow. And then you need to have a proper sentence structure. Then the pronunciation should be good. You, you, can, you should not uh, act like the Americans, but then you need to have a neutral uh, voice. Then you, the comprehension should be good, that is the content should, people should understand what you want to say. Then of course the attitude matters. Then, how to, again, to exercise all the states, then we need to have how to develop it. It is the eye contact, this body language, that is called kinesics, then voice tonality or modulations. Every content we speak, okay, calls for a voice modulation. We need to have this most, uh, voice modulation to keep our audience interested in what we speak. Then, of course, it needs to be proactive. Now the question is that, you know, at this point of time to uh, develop this communication skill, may I ask you that how many of you are now writing on a daily basis? How many of you do write apart from your class notes? Okay, how many of you watch videos? How many of you watch uh, audios, uh, listen to audios? Okay, now if you don't do this, how do you communicate? Because the basic fundamental of learning a language is through listening. So, let me conclude it by saying that no one is a born communicator. You must enhance your own communication skills 
And then you need to have basic communication fluency.